Ciao guys and welcome back to Lampis. As you can see we are in Namibia at village in Sandy. We are at the north and we are having the most amazing village experience ever. And we are going to share with you today also a little bit of village food and just village life. What we do, how is it to live in the village? Especially for Ali, you haven't lived in an African village nope. before. And yeah, in between we are also going to share with you what you're doing now, which is basically eating meat. Yes, a lot of meat. Goat meat, pork meat, meat, meat beef meat. meat, sheep meat, meat. Every single day, breakfast, lunch and dinner. I think we have been here already for, we, we arrived about three days ago. No, about four days ago. Mm -hmm. We arrived on Monday, today is a Friday. It's already the fifth day. Yes. And in those five days, we have not eaten anything green. These here are the first greens that I've seen so far. It's protein. It's protein, but they are green from, from vegetable. I know. So since we have been here, we have been mainly eating meat. And I'm telling you, our meal contains about 95% meat. And fat. But lean meat is boring. <laughs> okay. <laughs> lean meat is boring. Good. So yeah, and from the airport basically we went directly to the we, we did our first donation because we are also currently working on some school donation for kids that are living in the rural area mm -hmm. and after that we went directly to the meat place kapana kapana which is just like a large open spaces just wow. big grills but you will see that in the video just wait yeah that i mean we're planning to release the videos also later on some really good namibian food and recipes mm -hmm. and after eating kapana we also went to visit friends then we just oh, again prepared for welcomed us with a nice nice wow. bright lamb meat really nice a lot of fat but really the most amazing fat i've ever eaten i think for me you know one first side of me feel like okay i'm eating too much meat but i also feel like what the hell i might as well eat it the these two weeks because when you go back to Germany you it's never yes you start grilling paprika you start grilling zucchini yes yes definitely also quality meat like uh, it's really rare to find in Germany uh, most of the meat that you commercially find in the supermarkets are like full of antibiotics uh, grown in half of the time that it's supposed to <coughs> okay, <Ooh>. excuse <laughs> And, uh, and therefore, of course, uh, it's tasteless. Here instead, the quality is amazing. Old bio, for sure. Natural, like they, they are made, they are all free range. Right? <coughs> oh, hey, chicken you want to be on the next uh, meal? <laughs> anyway, guys, so as we said, five days, five days of meat, but it's not only meat. It was also a nice experience. Like to, for me, the best part of the village is the sunrise and wow. the sunset. Yeah, this is another thing, really. Something somebody from Europe cannot even uh, imagine. You have to experience it. Like today, we were we woke up 5 a.m. and we went to the Capana place to film some uh, traditional recipes. And uh, there was this moon that was almost like full moon, almost like a sun. No. Everybody could see everything without uh, artificial light. I was so surprised. And then on top of that, you have uh, the sunrise that is coming in and everything goes so red uh, and uh, I don't know, you have the skyline with the palms, the village, the cow that is, or the donkey that is passing in the background. It's really something, uh, I don't know, for somebody from Europe, it's something completely different. I mean, for you, I think it's, it's normal. It, it is not normal anymore. To be honest, when I come here first, cheers to village life. And by the way, we are we are drinking. <laughs> we are drinking a traditional beer, but I think it's very light in alcohol. How does it taste? It tastes nice. It tastes nice. It's a little bit uh, as acidic, mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. it tastes mm -hmm. a little bit like yeast. You know the yeast. Yes, yes. It's it's definitely yeast fermentation. Um. I think it, it does taste almost like a, I think it tastes more like just a dough that is more diluted. Mm, but it's really refreshing. I can really enjoy. You know how my mother keeps this cold? <laughs> yes. In a clay pot, yes. just covered with a lot of sand, and you pour uh, cold water all the time over the sand. I've seen that. So yeah, 
apart from the sunset okay the sunset why i love it is also it's the time when you collect all the animals and put them in the in their houses and i find that is a very beautiful moment of the day mm -hmm. like what it's you true. did yesterday with it's all true the because when the sun is setting the everything goes a little bit chiller and uh, it's so it's just so nice to be outside uh, to to walk around is uh, is fresh. It's not uh, it's like, for example, now it's around 12, and I have to be honest. If if it wouldn't be for this tree uh, behind <laughs> us, we'd probably be melting. I know, I mm. know. And like this chocolate. But anyway, apart from that, I have to be honest. One of the most amazing uh, uh, thing about village experience is are the people. Like people are so open open to talk to you to tell you where are you from uh, we were walking to in sandy today in the morning and every few meters i was stopped by people and just greet of course uh, from uh, i i had the uh, lampies next to me so most of the people knew lampy but i was everybody was greeting me asking me hey tate where are you from tate where are you from uh, <laughs> but they are nice they yes are they are nice. nice nice people really to be honest, for me, village is also the time where if you want to get away from money stress, because I think city life it feels most of the time more like it's just time and money. And they, there's never enough time. The little time you have to spend it working for the money and there's never enough money. So it's just there. But the village life is more like just leave. Relaxed. Just, it, but do not mistake, even though everything is relaxed, being at the village means also a lot of work everything is done manually so. everything is done manually so if you want uh, marula oil it's a process that lasts probably six to, to eight hours you start in the morning uh, cleaning the marula seeds and and then you pound it on like we have a big wooden mortar and this but you see all that in um, other upcoming videos about really good and indigenous or traditional village food Apart from that, what else would I say? I love also the drink. Yes, the drinks. I mean, the, uh, yesterday we were just like, uh, uh, hey. So for the for the drinks, for example, they make about uh, twenty five liters of the traditional drink. Yes, they basically drink this instead of water. So all the time. Yes, they never drink water at the village, mm -hmm. uh, unless if it's recommended by to, by the doctor, like drink more water. Otherwise, everybody take this traditional drink here. It's, I would say, 0 0.05 alcohol. It's lightly fermented, mm -hmm. but it's good. The children take it and also the parents. And then the one that we are having here, mm -hmm. the one that we are having here is the alcoholic one. And this is only made on special occasions. Uh -huh. So this is not what you drink all the time because this is super alcoholic. Naya, yeah, super, not maybe 2.5. Yeah. Yes, so uh, apart from that, we are having all ca all sort of uh, Namibian snack here. We have uh, what is that called? That's not a snack, though. What is that called? Th this is uh, beans. No, let me show you how to do it. You know, you have this thing. Uh huh. So you take this like that. Mm -hmm. This little stuff. Once you take it out, you just open it. Opens from the beginning to the end. Okay. Like this. That's nice. Yeah, uh -huh. that's how you open it. And you just go in with your hands. Amazing. Ooh. Everything. These are like fresh uh, cow peas. Mm -hmm. We we do have uh, a lot of them in Europe from the Asian market or from the bio market that we also cook as dry beans mm -hmm. a lot. But here they cultivate them, so they also eat them fresh before the the dry season. Mm -hmm. So during the rain season, they eat them fresh, and during the dry season, they clean them and then have them for stews and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of chicken and the best way to call the chickens around just to throw some beans on the ground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's not allowed if my mother was here, would not allow it that you just throw beans because they were fed already. But if you just do this, all the chicken will come around and you'll be like, hey, where do they even come from? Mm -hmm. oh, is is the one that this is Oshikundu. Oshikundu. This is the non-alcoholic one. Okay. And just keep everything covered with baskets. Mm, this one has sugar. This is this a snack. This is a snack. For breakfast today we had 
like uh, yeah, like a kilo of meat and porridge because we went to the market. And then for lunch we are going to have uh, traditional chicken mm -hmm. with marua oil, wow. the leftover from yesterday. Amazing. And for dinner today we are going to have fresh grill. We are just waiting for the boys to come. Yes, this is also a tradition in our culture. For example, when I come home, because my cousins don't get to see me most of the time, mm -hmm. I call them and then they all come around for a weekend. So my house, uh, my parents' house is going to be full by this evening because wow. my cousins are coming. And then we just get some meat, a lot of meat, and then just grill and drink. But they are too young to, for drinking. So the drinking is probably going to be just the minor things, like mm -hmm. the tradition. But Mainly, the main thing is the meat. The meat. And drinking is really so minor. So what are they the going meat. to do? They are going to slaughter a goat? Yes, we are going to get a goat. Ah, we did. I mean, we have been eating meat like hell. Yesterday it was very difficult for me to sleep. And another thing that we are also going to show you, Ale brought some Italian stuff for my parents that I think now for our Easter brunch we are also going to have you know, not only Namibian food, but a mixture of Italian as well. I'm, I'm looking forward to my parents' reaction to eating, you know, like Colomba, Italian salami and stuff. I hope they're going to like them. I think so, especially salami. <laughs> yes, salami is made by the Colomba, I don't know, because our people don't eat a lot of uh, cakes and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so, um, we'll, we'll see. But the kids, I'm sure they are looking forward to that. So I was just wondering, you know, I grew up here, mm -hmm. fine, yes. things have changed, but I, I know that I wouldn't mind coming back, especially maybe after I'm 50 and I've worked, leave the city, I mean city life is stressful. Mm -hmm. Would, could you see yourself living here? We have our small house here, few cat, a few wow. gods. I don't, I don't know. I, I think it's really relaxed. I see myself uh, spending uh, like two months here, one month, two months yeah, without okay. problem. But maybe the entire year I would be a little bit too much for me. I also need to go back to my things and work on my project. Ah, okay. So if, if you are living in mm -hmm. Windhoek, for example, it would be fine. And then we come to the village every holiday. Yes, yes, yes. But the same things would be in Italy, like... Uh, I can go back to Italy for one, two months, and then I need to come back. Ah, oh. ah okay. So basically, we are just going to stay in Germany, and that's now home for us. And then if we come to Namibia for holiday, or we go to Italy, but we aren't moving to Namibia. We aren't moving to. That's basically what you're saying, because mm -hmm. it's like we have our working life set up, mm -hmm. and Germany is good for working. Exactly. And Namibia is good for eating meat and nice people. Okay, guys. And Italy is good for drinking wine and eating more. Eating. <laughs> My goodness, I think in two years' time we are not going to fit in this clothes anymore. <laughs> like, I don't know. This one you can pretty much also be pregnant, it's but this one mine. I'm already feeling like after four days that it's a little bit this tight. It's cute though, but it's not mine. This is my mom's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She gave it to me yesterday because I left my Amazing. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Ciao. So, guys, that was it from us today. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. If you enjoy this kind of video and also maybe you like to see my mom in some of the videos, let us know so we can film some videos with her while we are still here. And. Stay tuned and keep following Lempis because we will be releasing a whole lot of amazing content from the village. Mainly food, our experience and some vlog. Also, if you like to see my mom in particular in the vlog, let us know because we do a lot of cooking already with her yes. in the kitchen like yesterday. So if you like to see that, us cooking together, let us know so I can also film up something with her. And maybe if you like to see Ale taking care of the animals in the village like <laughs> yesterday, cheers to the village life. And if you are new here, guys, leave a like, subscribe, and most important, always leave a comment. And if you like village life, stay tuned. We make videos just for you. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. See you in our next video. And I think that you didn't ask me if uh, would you stay. Uh, I'm good, let's start. Mm -hmm.